today is Q&A and the question is regarding inspiration. I write library music or trailer hybrid. So those are very tough because it's very hard to compose in that style. And sometimes, depending on who you write for, you may find yourself writing the same thing over and over again. And so when you finish writing one cue, you are excited because it's something that you are proud of and then you get to start with a new one, but then it destroys and you are like, Crap, it's the exact same shit that I did, you know, last week. And it's like, how can I do something that, you know, still works, but it's different and it's good. And then it is this, you know, self-sabotage thinking process that just kills your creativity because it just, you're judging your music and you're trying to do something that is great, that is genius, that is different, that is new, that is something inspired. And everything that you look at is like, no, it's not good enough. No, it's not good enough. No. And then at some point it's just, you stress out and then obviously the inspiration disappears. First, I believe inspiration is something that you can work on and you can create inspiration. You can create good ideas, but it's something that you have to work on. To me, for example, I usually wake up at 4 p.m. at 4 a.m. 4 a.m. in the morning, 3 to 4 a.m. in the morning. And usually those from 3 to 6, it's just time for me where I do something creative. It doesn't necessarily need to be music. Sometimes it's writing, sometimes it's just journaling. Uh, most of the times it's writing. And that is for me a way of practicing creativity, just getting that creativity out of me. Again, I understand when you're writing the same type of style, it is very complicated. And depending on what type of person you are, there are people who are meant to sit in front of a computer and do, you know, office work all day and they're happy doing that. I'm not that type of person. If I repeat something that I've done in the past, it just kills me. And so I've always need to create something new. So that is, you know, a problem maybe and the blessing that I've got. I need to be creating, but it needs to be something new all the time, which helps with growth, but also kills consistency, being able to do one thing repeatedly. And that is important as well. Uh, for example, for making a good income writing music, you have, especially if it's library music, for example, you have to be able to deliver music consistently. So what things do I recommend to overcome this? Just the best thing that I can recommend is just stop, go for a walk, go for a run, do some exercise, or do something that you like that inspired you. Go meet some friends that you love, that bring good vibrations, that bring happiness to your life. Have a conversation with your dad, with your mom. Have, you know, talk to your loved ones. Or do something that, you know, just stop when you are stressed, when it's not working, when you're not inspired. The worst thing you can do is try and get that. Most likely, it's not gonna work, or you're gonna come up with an idea that it's not worth even sharing. And so, the best thing you can do is stop relax and the idea will come usually inspiration comes from this exercise which is pressure release pressure release where you try to do something real hard and you are using your logical brain to come up with something new or figure out something and then sometimes you will but the best thing that you can do is just stop go for a walk do something that's not related to that thing and then the subconscious mind will figure it out and will give you the answer to you it's going to be the melody it's going to be the instrumentation it's going to be the whatever it is to me usually the first day that i sit down to compose if it's something big something that i have to compose that's meaningful is rough it's the second day that's the good day and then the third day is when i just like finish the piece and maybe mixing mastering whatever and i'm talking one of these you know two minutes trailer or, or 90 seconds trailer track or you know something that really has to sound good and you are in charge of doing the entire process and usually is orchestral mock-up and you are not recording with an orchestra when it's a movie or something like this you, you gotta write way more music you have to get it done and just having the deadline there where you got to write three minutes of music that day it just gets gets you going and maybe it's not genius uh, but it just works and genius and inspiration strikes at some point uh, along the way. I believe that here's what happens. Any task, a small task or a big task like composing a two minutes cue, usually it has a start, you know, here's the work and then there's an end. For procrastinators, I manage procrastination, but I tend to procrastinate like me it is very hard to start because here's where all the problems start. It's like, it has to be perfect. It has to be good. It has to be genius. It has to be different. It has to be new, right? All these things. And so we make this bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and we don't even start. It's way easier to say, I don't give a fuck about this, right? I'm just gonna get it started. And you get it started. Perfection comes towards the middle. Perfection was here, but you did not get started because you were not able to, because you were afraid. And at the end of the day, is you being afraid, you not being brave enough to get it started. And so make it small, make it unimportant and get it started. Perfection will come at some point. Understand that the first day is not going to be the good one. It's like the when you're doing push-ups, when you're doing reps for growing muscle, muscle growth actually 
happens on those last reps where you know when you are truly tired and it's very hard that's when you are actually working on muscle growth or meditation usually for 20 minutes transcendental meditation or something like this the first 15 minutes it's just clearing your mind kind of thing the thing happens in the last five minutes usually but those 15 minutes need to be there anyway so what i would say is don't stress out if you're not inspired just keep going or stop go for a walk and understand that it's a process and do whatever you have to do to enjoy the process don't over complicate things because if you over complicated things like too big of a template or too complex of a library use the working process that inspires you and inspires doesn't just mean inspiration momentum it's just have fun the moment you have fun inspiration will come the moment it's not hard inspiration will come. the moment you enjoy the process inspiration will come so hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight maybe all those things are too basic and you already knew those hopefully there's a nugget of information that's useful for you